There you are. You've done it. Maybe you've found a way to unify several themes of your story by adding or changing a character. Maybe you've found the specific plot points that will test your character and bring out their best or worst. Maybe you've finally designed a way to establish the needed setting or conflict within which your story will take place. Hell, maybe you just finished your entire manuscript and you just feel like the world can't be any better. Then it happens. You're reading a book, or you're watching a movie or a television show, and before you unfolds the very same thing that you created for your story. No, God, please, no, no! Relax, relax, relax. It's okay, don't worry. It's not as bad as you think. Complete originality doesn't matter. Recently, I stumbled upon a great video created by Lessons from the Screenplay. If you haven't yet checked out his work, I highly recommend it. I provided a link down below. In his video about creating the ultimate villain, Michael commented about similarities between the Dark Knight's Joker and John Doe from the movie Seven. It hit me then that I should make this video to help ease the pain a writer might feel when they see that something they've written has already been created in another story. Let me demonstrate that complete originality doesn't matter with three movies, Seven, The Dark Knight, and Skyfall. All three movies were successful with both critics and audience members alike. Seven was released in 1995 and holds a Rotten Tomatoes rating of 80% from critics and 95% from the audience. The Dark Knight was released in 2008 and holds a score of 94% from both critics and audience members alike. 2012 Skyfall, perhaps the best James Bond film, enjoys a critic's score of 93% and an audience score of 86%. All three movies have the exact same major plot point with their villains. In all three movies, the antagonist allows themselves to get captured. Seven's John Doe needed to get caught so the final deadly sins could play out. The Joker also needed to get captured in order to steal Lau, the accountant. Hello there. Raul Silva needed to be captured so he could get close enough to assassinate M. These aren't minor, insignificant plot points. These are major events in the movie that are vital to the villain's plan. Think about it. When Skyfall came out, did anyone complain that the writers copied this scene from a previous movie? No, of course not. When The Dark Knight came out, did audience members gasp and point to the screen while chanting their disappointment that such a plot point had already been used? No, of course not. Because complete originality not only doesn't matter, it's an impossibility. Every great story you've come across has elements that can be found in something that came before. Back in 2013, I went to see the Wolverine in the theaters. The moment Logan dug into his chest to remove a foreign object, I nearly wept. The action was basically the same that I had written for one of my unpublished science fiction stories. I thought the entire book was ruined. I spent hours and days trying to figure out how to revise the scene so it avoided the similarity. Finally, whether from being tired of trying to change the plot point, or from stubbornness of wanting to keep it, I realized that the similarity, ultimately, was unimportant. A single scene such as this will not make your story good. What will make your story good is that scenes such as this follow naturally from everything that came before. Once I understood that, I started to realize that the scenes were not as similar as I'd initially thought. The specific action might be the same, but the circumstances that led to the action and how the action impacts the story are drastically different. So, just to restate, complete originality doesn't matter in your stories. What matters is that the action unfolds smoothly, and each character, scene, and plot point is consistent with the story being told. Of course, you don't want to simply tell the same story in the same way as someone else. But, if your story happens to have similar elements to another, that's okay.